test number one. I'm having sh problems with this shower and I'll be recording the moment I open up all the way. Look at how slow it is. Finally starting to come off. Bam! Now we have water. Number two. Now I have no shower head. Flip. Look at this. Very, very little. Number three. No pipe at all. All the way. Look at that beautiful thing. Okay. Three, no valve. My son's going downstairs to open up. Plenty of pressure. So the problem has to be from here to that little point up there, right? That's what I would think. So I'm gonna try to put a snake down from the top. Let's see what happens. The lemon here. If I open up, I know it's very, very slow. If I close it with my finger, it takes a long time just to get at the top. So, not even. Not even a lot of water is coming to the bottom here. It's beautiful. My theory. As you can see on the top hole, it seems there is a, there we have a tube inside the tube. And I'm going to make a hole on that tube so the water doesn't have to go to the bottom and then back up. And I hope it works. We'll find out. There we go. Start to make the hole. You can see the shiny part. You can actually see the shavings. And I'm just going to keep drilling. for now. Almost through. made it through but let me put more torque here and there it is a tube inside the tube like ex like I expected there you go look at that now I'm inside the other tube that goes up to the top my theory is that the water is just going to rush through there and go to the top. Never going to the bottom anymore. This is capped off anyway. I don't care. I don't, I don't ever use this. And maybe a little bit more cleaning up there. And I'm going to take the shower head off. So these shavings flow right out. And let's see. Alright. 
I'm gonna pause it for now. All right, so now you can see there is a tube inside the tube. There, right there, see that? I have these shavings. I try to clean them up, and then we're gonna do our test and see what happens. Finish cleaning up, and. <clears throat> I'm going to do the test now and put back together. I'm hoping that the water will come from the left and right through the valve and right up the inner tube inside the big tube. So stay tuned for the next part of the video. Okay, now I took the, the shower head off. The valve is back in. Go ahead, open the valve, baby. Open the second valve too. Thank you. That's all I need. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we have no apparent leak, no noises, no dripping back there, which means. So far, my theory is working. Now the question is, when I put the, the handle in, what's gonna happen with the pressure up there? So let's put the thing on. Okay, there's more water now. Oh yeah. Now we're talking, see that? And I really don't care about the bottom part. I don't care about this guy here because I don't ever use this. All I care about is that baby right there. So let's put the shower head on and let's see how it looks. All right, we got the shower head back on. And let's see what happens with the little valve here. Go to the top. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Pressure and fast. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to do this at home, if not, do it at your own risk. Since I do not know your valve, and I'm not a plumber either. Good luck. Bye.